the book of Ezekiel, chapter 25, prophecy against Ammon. The Lord spoke to me, mortal man. He said, Denounce the country of Ammon. Tell them to listen to what I, the sovereign Lord, am saying. You are delighted to see my temple profaned, to see the land of Israel devastated, to see the people of Judah go into exile. Because you were glad, I will let the tribes from the eastern desert conquer you. They will set up their camps in your country and settle there. They will eat the fruit and drink the milk that should have been yours. I will turn the city of Rabbah into a place of to keep camels and the whole country of Ammon into a place to keep sheep so that you will know that I am the Lord. This is what the Sovereign Lord is saying. You clapped your hands and jumped for joy. You despised the land of Israel. Because you did, I will hand you over to other nations who will rob you and plunder you. I will destroy you so completely that you will not be a nation anymore or have a country of your own. Then you will know that I am the Lord. Prophecy against Moab The Sovereign Lord said, Because Moab has said that Judah is like all the other nations, I will let the cities that defend the border of Moab be attacked, including even the finest cities, Beth, Jeshimoth, Balmion, and Kiriathaim. I let the tribes of the eastern desert conquer Moab, together with Haman, so that Moab will no longer be a nation. I will punish Moab, and they will know that I am the Lord. Prophecy against Edom The Sovereign Lord said, The people of Edom took cruel revenge on Judah, and that revenge has brought lasting guilt on Edom. Now I announce that I will punish Edom and kill a person and animal there. I will make it a waste from the city of man to the city of Dedan, and the people will be killed in battle. My people Israel will take revenge on Edom for me, and they will make Edom feel my furious anger. Edom will know what it means to be the object of my revenge. The Sovereign Lord has spoken. Prophecy against Philistia. The Sovereign Lord said, The Philistines have taken cruel revenge on their age-long enemies and destroyed them in their hate. And so I am announcing that I will attack the Philistines and wipe them out. I will destroy everyone left living there on the Philistine plain. I will punish them severely and take full revenge on them. They will feel my anger. They will then they will know that I am the Lord. Ezekiel chapter 26 On the first day of the month of the eleventh year of our exile, the Lord spoke to me. Mortal man, he said, this is what the people in the city of Tyre are cheering about. They shout, Jerusalem is shattered. Her commercial power is gone. She won't be our rival anymore. Now then, this is what I, the Sovereign Lord, am saying. I am your enemy, the city of Tyre. I will bring many nations to attack you, and they will come like the waves of the sea. They will destroy your city walls and tear down your towers. Then I will sweep away all the dust and leave only a bare rock. Fishermen will dry their nets on it. There were it stands in the sea. I, the Sovereign Lord, have spoken. The nations will plunder Tyre and with their swords they will kill those who live in her towns in 
on the mainland. The entire will know that I am the Lord. The Sovereign Lord says, I am going to bring the greatest king of all, King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylonia, to attack Tyre. He will come from the north with a huge army, with horses and chariots, and with cavalry. Those who live in the towns of, on the mainland will be killed in the fighting. The enemy will dig trenches, build earthworks, and make a solid wall of shields against you. They will pound in your walls and with battering rams and tear down your towers with iron bars. The clouds of dust raised by their horses will cover you. The noise of their horses pulling wagons and chariots will shake your walls as they pass through the gates of the ruined city. The horsemen will storm through your streets, killing your people with their swords. Your mighty pillars will be thrown to the ground. Your enemies will help themselves to your wealth and merchandise. They will pull down your walls and shatter your luxurious houses. They will take the stones and wood and all the rubble and dump them into the sea. I will put an end to all your songs and I will silence the music of your harps. I will leave only a bare rock where fishermen can dry their nets. The city will never be rebuilt. I, the Sovereign Lord, have spoken. The Sovereign Lord has this to say to the city of Tyre. When you are being conquered, the people who live along the coast will be terrified at the screams of those who are slaughtered. All the kings of the seafaring nations will come down from their thrones. They will take off their robes and their embroidered clothes and sit trembling on the ground. They will be so terrified at your fate that they will not be able to stop trembling. They will sing their funeral song for you. The famous city is destroyed. Her ships have been swept from the sea. The people of this city ruled the seas and terrified all who lived on the coast. Now, on the day it has fallen, the island islands are trembling, and their people are shocked at such destruction. The Sovereign Lord says, I will make you as a desolate and ruined city where no one lives. I will cover you with the water of the ocean depths. I will send you down to the world of the dead to join the people who lived in ancient times. I will make you stay in that underground world among eternal ruins, keeping company with the dead. As a result, you will never again be inhabited and take your place in the land of the living. I will make you a terrifying example and that will be the end of you. People may look for you but you will never be found. The Sovereign Lord has spoken. Nebuchadnezzar killed. Chapter 27 The Lord said to me, Mortal man, sing a funeral song for Tyre, the city which stands at the edge of the sea and does business with the people living on every sea coast. Tell her what the Sovereign Lord is saying. Tyre, you boasted of your perfect beauty. Your home is the sea. Your builders made you like a beautiful ship. They used fir trees from Mount Hermon 
for timber and a cedar from Lebanon for your mast. They took oak trees from Bashan to make oars. They made your deck out of pine from Cypress and inlaid it with ivory. Your sails were made of linen, embroidered linen from Egypt, easily recognized from afar. Your awnings were made of finest cloth of purple from the island of Cyprus. Your oarsmen were from the cities of Sidon and Arvad. Your own skillful men were the sailors, the shippers, carpenters. You were well trained men from Biblos, sailors from every seagoing ship did business in your shops. Soldiers from Persia, Lydia and Libya served in your army. They hung their shields and their helmets on your barracks. They are the men who won glory for you. Soldiers from Arvad guarded your walls and men from Jamad guarded your towers. They hung from shields on your walls. They are the men who made you beautiful. You did business in Spain and took silver, iron, tin and lead in payment of your abandoned goods. You did business in Greece, Tubal and Meshach and traded your goods for slaves and for articles of bronze. You sold your goods for draught horses war horses and mules from Beth Togarma. The people of Rhodes traded with you. People of many coastal lands gave you ivory and ebony in exchange of your goods. The people of Syria brought your merchandise and your many products. They gave emeralds, purple cloth, embroidery, fine linen, coral and rubies in payment for your wares. Judah and Israel paid for your goods with wheat, honey, olive oil and spices. The people of Damascus brought your merchandise and your products, paying for them with wine from Helbon and wool from Sehar. They exchanged wrought iron and spices for your goods. The people of Didan exchanged saddle clothes for your goods. The Arabians and the rulers of the land of Kidar paid for your merchandise with lambs, sheep, and goats for your goods. Merchants of Sheba and Rama exchanged jewels, golds, and the finest spices. The cities of Haran, Cana, and Eden, the merchants of Sheba, the cities of Ashur and Chilmath, they all traded with you. They sold you luxurious clothing, purple cloth, and embroidery brightly colored carpets and well-made coats and robes. Your merchandise was carried in fleets of the largest cargo ships. You were like a ship at sea loaded with heavy cargo. When your oarsmen brought you out to sea, an east wind wrecked you far from land. All your wealth of merchandise all the sailors in your crew, your ships, carpenters, and your merchants, every soldier on board the ship, all, all were lost at sea when your ship was wrecked. The shouts of the drowning sailors echoed on the shore, every ship is deserted and every sailor has gone ashore. They all mourn bitterly for you, throwing dust on your heads and rolling in ashes. 
they shave their heads for you and dress themselves in sackcloth their hearts are bitter as they weep they chant a funeral song for you who can be compared to tire to tire now silent in the sea when your mercantiles went overseas you filled the needs of every nation kings were made rich by the wealth of your goods now you are wrecked in the sea you have sunk to the ocean depths your goods and all who worked for you have vanished with you in the sea everyone who lives along the coast is shocked at your fate even their kings are terrified and fear is written on their faces you are gone gone forever and merchants all over the world are terrified afraid that they will share your fate